welcome back to my channel good morning and welcome back to my channel pt rad academics today we are going to discuss on generations of ct ct means what ct the word ct you have always heard about ct scans right ct scans are computed tomography the word ct means computed tomography and tomo means slices so you have bought the bread from a bakery and slice bread likewise we are sli taking slices or cross section of our human body so in the before classes i have described about positioning terminologies in that i have discussed about different body planes so the ct deals with the transverse plane more about the components of ct i will be discussing in next sessions today i am dealing with only the generations of ct so briefly i am saying the components of a ct the more detailed version of the class will be seen in the upcoming topics so here you can see an x ray tube here x ray tube so the mode of beam we are using in ct scan is also x rays then we are having filter you can see here filter filters are used for shaping the x ray beam by absorbing the low energy photons in order to reduce the skin irradiation or in order to reduce the skin dose then you can see here collimators and dictated array and all those things are the components of a gantry this all comes inside a gantry so x ray tube is there filter is there collimator is there dictated array is there as well as a gantry since the development of a very first ct scanner so the ct scanner was developed at uh, 1970s the industry has seen a variety of changes applied to the ct scanner instrumentation leading to the evolution of seven different generations of ct scanners each generation of ct scanner is unique and varies based on the arrangement of the x ray tube and detectors and how they move in relation to one another so we are having seven generations of ct and ct was discovered in 1970s around 1972 and it was discovered by godfrey in housefield so we are moving on to the different generations of ct the first generation is known as original emi scanner or first generation ct it is otherwise known as transit rotate ct so here the detectors when the case of first generation ct there was only one detector the type of beam was a pencil like x ray beam the tube detector movement was transit rotate and it was only specially designed for the evaluation of the brain and the duration of the scan was average it was about 25 to 30 minutes so detector was only one detector pencil like x ray beam transit rotate was the movement of the tube detector movement and it was designed so the time it, it it's a evaluation only for what for the brain it was only meant for the brain and the duration of this scan was about 25 to 30 minutes so you can see here the x ray tube as well as the detector there was only one detector and uh, the linear movement you can see in the figure how the 
how it was linearly moving after one completion the x-ray tube is rotating okay so the first ct scanner was only for head scan and used a rotate transit system with a single x-ray beam called a pencil beam the beam was a pencil beam in order to produce such a narrow beam of x-ray photon the first generation scanner used a pinhole collimator the collimator was pinhole to ensure only a single beam of x-ray was interacting with the patient only a single beam of x-ray was interacting with the patient now you can see a figure the figure is not clear then also you can understand from this figure the gantry moved through two different types of motion one linear and the other rotatory as i discussed linear movement and rotatory movement transit rotate the linear motion was repeated over and over 180 times between each of these 180 linear movement the gantry rotated 1 degree so each of these was how many linear movements 180 linear movements and the after completing 180 linear movements the gantry rotated 1 degree from 0 to 1 degree thus the total rotatory motion encompassed a 180 degree semicircle the axis of rotation passed through the center of the patient's head that you can see here in this image the x-ray beam will be on throughout the linear moment when it is moving linearly the x-ray beam will be on and when it is rotating the x-ray beam will be off during the rotatory movement so the total number of transmission measurements was the product of the number of linear measurements 160 and rotatory steps 180 which was 28800 in the original emi scanner so this is what happening in the first generation ct the major disadvantages of the first generation ct was time time was the main, main important disadvantage of the first generation since to scan a particular area it was only meant for brain but for a particular or a single patient or or for a single scan it takes about 25 to 30 minutes so the major drawback of the first generation ct scanner was the amount of time it took to acquire the images and to reconstruct the images using the computer this process was very demanding in terms of both time and manpower again moving on to the second generation ct it is also known as transit rotate same name as that of first generation ct but it is different from that of first generation since it's from a single detector the detectors have increased to multiple that is up to 30 detectors around up to 30 detectors will be there the type of the beam changed from pencil beam it has been changed to fan shaped x-ray beam and the tube detector movement is same as that of first generation itself transit rotate but instead of moving 1 degree at the end of a linear scan the gantry rotates through a greater arc up to 30 degree so in the first generation i have said you that the, there will be linear movement linear movement will take about 160 steps after completing 160 steps the x-ray tube will be rotating 1 degree likewise the x-ray tube should rotate up to 180 degree but in this case the x the 
linear moment is there okay but the x-ray tube is rotating to a greater arc up to 30 degree so somewhat the scan time have reduced so the duration of the scan is average is less than 90 seconds the largest advantage associated with the second generation CT scanner was the substantial decrease in acquisition time compared to that of the first generation. This generation of CT scanner was measured to be 15 times faster than the first generation. Here you can see the image, you can see the x-ray tube as well as the fan beam along with the detector. So this much area is covered with a fan beam. Stay tuned for the next topic. If you have liked this video, please don't forget to like and to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.